Christ is mediator of a new covenant, so that by means of his death, those who are called may receive the promise of an eternal inheritance. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins, they may be preserved in, li in holy living, and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram prostrated himself, God spoke to him, My covenant with you is this, you are to become the father of a host of nations. No longer shall you be called Abram, your name shall be Abraham, for I am making you the father of a host of nations. I will render you exceedingly fertile, I will make nations of you. Kings shall stem from you. I will maintain my covenant with you and your descendants after you throughout the ages as an everlasting pact to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. I will give to you and to your descendants after you the land in which you are now staying, the whole land of Canaan, as a permanent possession, and I will be their God. God also said to Abraham, on your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. <clears throat> Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents, and the judgments he has uttered. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth, his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Lord. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus. 
Jesus said to the Jews, A many men I say to you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. So the Jews said to him, Now we are sure that you are possessed. Abraham died, as did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham, who died, or the prophets who died? Who do you make yourself out to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is not worth anything, or my glory is worth nothing. But if it is my Father who glorifies me, of whom you say he is our God, you do not know him, but I know him. And if you should say that I do not know him, I would be like you, a liar. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Abraham your father rejoiced to see my day. He saw it and was glad. So the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and you have seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, before Abraham came to be, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him, but Jesus hid and went out of the temple area. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Our gospel has our Lord using the divine name of I am, where that very essence of our God is his existence, where our Lord is being itself. And for that, to hear someone say that I am in that way is very blasphemous, and that's why they were picking up stones. But it's only blasphemous if the person who is speaking is not God. If it is God who's saying, I am, then it is only the truth that is being spoken. And likewise, the truth that is being spoken is one of eternity outside of this world, which was difficult for the people to grasp at the time, and still difficult for us to grasp at the time, though we understand that way of eternal life, at least in part. But to say that our Lord and God knows Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the fact that they are still around, that they still exist, that Abraham rejoiced in that fact of the Incarnation, that the Lord was able to bring all those things to pass in that way outside of time for us to believe and see is such a great message for us all to see how the world is in anticipation of the Lord, especially of the Lord's greatest mission, which we will be celebrating next week in Holy Week, his death and resurrection, and we celebrate his great conquering of sin and death, so that those patriarchs can rejoice in the life that they have in eternity. And we too hope for that through the death and resurrection of our Lord to receive that as well as that great gift of God. Let's continue to strive now and always and continue to pray that we might have the strength to follow in the path of the Lord, to follow in that realization of who God is in our lives and in that way walk in step with God unto eternal life. My dear sisters and brothers, seeking to walk blamelessly before God, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father. For Muslims, Christians, and Jewish people, signs of the fulfillment of God's promise to Abraham. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all who walk uprightly, signs of abiding relationship with God, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the land of Canaan, source of both conflict and promise, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For the elderly and sick, signs of trust in God's enduring faithfulness, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For us, heirs of the everlasting covenant in Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Dolores Crockman, for Beatrice Greco, or Beatrice uh, Greco, and for Jean Holtzmeister. We remember this Mass today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead inheritors of the life promised, the, the faithful ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
and for your own intentions. Lord, we are participating in the prayer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our For these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who chose Saint ben John Baptiste de La Salle to educate young Christians, raise up, we pray, teachers in your church, ready to devote themselves wholeheartedly to the human and Christian formation of the young, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. My mission is more to remind the Christian to take Christ along with himself to share with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. Blessed Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. Praise the Lord in his name, for our good and good all Holy Church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our conversion and the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let it come to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, to have Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we marriage be co heirs to eternal life. They praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> By the Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. We'll live in reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. With him, he has given us all things. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament, with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Be gracious to your people, Lord, we pray that as from day to day they reject what does not please you, they may be filled instead with delight at your commands. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Amen. 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 Together, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, for the world, especially those in Russia and Ukraine, and of our community. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Together, let's pray the prayer for our mother and mothers. Mother and mother of mothers, holy queen, chosen before all women, to be the mother of the Son of God. Mary, my mother, through your maternity, have so sanctified the state of Holy Mother of Earth. Imploring thee, I come to you. Humbly I beseech you. Confidently I trust in you. I know that you can, by your all powerful intercession, 
help you to my me. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all confidently in your commands. Betray not my humble trust, but hear my petitions and come to 